You are absolutely gonna wanna see this demo. It is gonna completely blow you away. We've got Glitter Gel Toes right now on Real Time. How key is this to have in the salon? It's huge. Yeah. I feel like in the salon, the main goal is to make money and please your clients and do it also in a timely manner. So um, I managed to just kind of cut out all the excess. I think there's a lot of overthinking that happens in nails in general. Yeah, totally. And with your toes, you know, it is um, not always as up close and personal as your nails may be. So it's just uh, cutting out the extra. Um, how did you book these services? Because I know people are going to ask and they're going to want to know, how did you book the service? Typically in the salon, I would book on the 15. On the 15. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that again. You booked them on the 15. Like yeah. that's real. Yeah. Um, I felt like even though I knew it would usually be under 10, I wanted to make sure I had that little bit of wiggle room in case they yeah. came in and had something on that I wasn't expecting yeah. or if they needed a lot of extra maintenance. But for the most part, I was usually on the hour, whether it be 30 minutes or an hour. So right. the 15 worked into that scheduling for me. So I would just pick uh, 15 minutes and I knew that usually I would, you know, get have time to clean everything up after I got done since I am moving from my desk to the floor. Yeah. So usually 15 minutes was comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna start with pushing back her cuticles. And I'm not doing a lot of work here. I'm really just kind of assessing what kind of old product she may have left on her toes. So really doesn't take much. Just a quick check. And I'm gonna move on to my medium sanding band on the electric file. And this is gonna clean up the cuticle area and prep her nail for the gel. And this is even a quicker motion than what I would do when I'm doing actual nails. Because the gel polish is gonna stick to the toes pretty well regardless. Just like nail polish sticks to your nails, uh, toes better, the gel polish will adhere no problem. So real quick, just zipping through, cleaning up the cuticle area and getting rid of anything that she may have left on her toenails. And there we go, all done with that. So I'm gonna take some swipe on a manicure brush just to dust off any of the dust and debris and get her nails nice and dehydrated. And protein bond up here. Uh-oh. Yep. That cost you. <laughs> all right, so now I'm gonna apply a quick layer of protein bond and just really fast through all 10. Now this isn't like a full service pedicure, so I'm not really doing a lot of grooming or maintenance. We're just doing the gel polish on her toes. And you may be wondering why I didn't file the free edge. I'm going to clean them up after we get done. Because sometimes with the glitter, you'll have some little rough spots. So rather than doing it two times, I'm just going to do it once at the end. And stick her one foot in the light while I work on the other. What's nice about um, our universal light is the bottom comes off, making it really easy to do toes. And you can move it around with no issue. That way they don't have to stick their foot into the light and bump it on the way in or anything like that. So by the time I've finished painting the second foot, the first one's ready to come out of the light, so we just switch. I usually leave the timer just running so I can bounce her back and forth. Now I'm gonna go in with my gel polish color, and I chose Magenta 101 because it kind of goes with the glitter that I it's chose. pink! Yeah, you said no gold. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, so when I do gel toes, I like to pick a similar color to what glitter I'm going to be using. That way, if there are any little pieces that flake out or if the glitter is kind of um, translucent, you're able, there's a like color behind it so you won't see through. Go ahead and switch. And same thing over here, quick layer. 
It doesn't have to be like completely full coverage because I am going to do a glitter over the top after. So I actually only do one coat of color when I'm doing the gel toes. Alright. And perfect timing. Switch you back out. And I have fuchsia glitter, which is a really pretty kind of magenta-ish color. It's more purple, Trace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And I have a dry makeup brush, nothing fancy, just an old brush that was laying around. I'm just dabbing that onto the dispersion layer from the gel polish and knocking off all the excess. And set that aside. Grab my manicure top. And... I do have two different top coats, one for glitter and one for clear, because this is pretty messy. So you want to make sure that you have one that you're not worried about. And the first layer of top is to seal all that glitter in, and then our second layer will be to smooth it all out. So same thing, just grab my dry makeup brush, dab that in, dust it onto the tacky layer, what about all the glitter you're wasting? I'm wasting all of this glitter, but it's okay because Tracy's going to pay for it. Sure. <laughs> Love it. All right, and after I brushed off my excess, I'm going to go through with my top coat. And manicure top only needs to cure for, or manicure in general only needs to cure for about 30 seconds. So by the time I'm done painting one, the other one's ready to come out. Ooh, it glows. Yeah, rave ready. <laughs> uh, is there raves at 6 o'clock in the evening? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the final coat. And this is, like I said, just to smooth it out. Sometimes with glitter press, you can fill a little bit of that glitter. Which, you know, you may not mind. But I want them to be nice and smooth and perfectly shiny. So the second layer is like the perfecting layer. Back in the light. And I know some people might be like, well, you're not getting a pedicure. You're right. Mm -hmm. This wasn't a pedicure service, and my clients always knew that. This was just gel toes. And it's basically like a dry manicure, but for your feet. And then they would come to me, get their gel toes done. This would last them about six weeks or so. And then they could go down the street and get a nice pedicure and just have them not mess with their toes. And that way the clients have these beautiful shiny rockstar toes and then they can go and get the pedicure. And it's always best to do a pedicure after rockstar toes, not before. Because all of the water and lotions and cuticle oil that you are exposed to when getting a pedicure will prevent the gel from holding up. It, ca it can cause lifting. Definitely. Uh, I, you know, I had clients, some clients that wanted a pedicure and if they wanted a pedicure after that was fine, but they actually paid for the rockstar toes and then the pedicure separately. Right. That was the same with me because yep. the pedicure is amazing. We all love the soak and scrub and rub and all that. But as far as the gel polish goes, it adheres better to mm -hmm. a dry surface. So I would always do that after. Now, what about the people that are like, but what about the cuticle area? You need to push it back and all that. With the cuticle area, I mean, on toes, it's not quite as heavy as on some people's nails. And again, same thing as fingernails. If it's a return client, there really shouldn't be a ton of maintenance going on. And we pushed back and cleaned up the cuticle area with the electric file. Right. So no need to do that with a pedicure. Right. So I just took some manicure cleanse to get rid of that sticky dispersion layer and cleaned up the free edge so that they're nice and even and none of that glitter is roughed up. And you are pool ready, my friend. Oh my even a little extra glitter for you. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take care of this one, same way, clean off that sticky layer. Toes were always a real money maker for me because they were so fast. Um, you could schedule like, you know, four of them in an hour or something like that and run a special one day and just knock them all out and then I don't know how much how much did you charge for them in salon um rocks I got I think they were about 50 mm, by the time. yeah yeah I think it's been a long time since I was doing them but I was charging 50 back back way back then mm, right if you figure 50 
per 15 minutes. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a pretty decent living if you ask me. Oil? Oil. There you go. All right, and now that I am all done, I'm gonna go ahead and oil her up since we got all that dehydrator around her toes and get rid of some of that glitter and she's all good to go. Sweet. My toes needed it. There you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful set of gel toes and the fact that you did it in that amount of time honestly it is amazing you saw my face <laughs> when you finished I was completely I didn't expect that yeah. so I was genuinely genuinely surprised um, this is a service you have to incorporate summertime is coming you need to have this it's a huge money maker as always let us know what you guys want to see and we will perform it here in real time once again, Steph, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. See you guys next week on Real Time. We'll embark upon the darkest voyage into the unknown in the history of mankind.